Hi, I'm Tim Janisewski. Welcome to Spotlight Philippians, Invitation to Joy, our devotional study for today. I want to take a brief opportunity to break down three different words to help us better understand joy throughout the book of Philippians and to apply it to our daily lives. First word to consider is happiness. Now, happiness is something that is a result of our circumstances. When things fall our way, we tend to be happy. When things are not going well, it tends to pull us away and make us unhappy. Happiness fluctuates throughout life's circumstances. But in contrast to that, the Bible, and specifically the Apostle Paul, speaks of joy as a constant in our life. He says that joy can be one of the fruit produced by the work of the Holy Spirit within the life of the Christian. And so it's interesting. A Christian can have joy in the midst of life circumstances where he or she is happy. You can be happy and joyful at the same time. But here's the one that's a little strange for many of us. We can be actually unhappy in the things of life, struggling having difficult straits, maybe even fighting some depression or discouragement in our lives, the happiness meter is unhappy. But even then, we can still have the constant fruit of the Spirit, which is an underlying joy in our lives. Do you see the difference between that? Happiness goes like this in our lives. But as we grow in our faith in Jesus, our joy becomes more and more a constant, regardless of whether our circumstances make us happy or not. And do note that joy is particularly a biblical and Christian thing. You read through your Bible, it will often speak of having joy in the Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Rejoice in the Lord always. Even in Christian hymns, we sing joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Not happy, happy, we adore thee. We sing joy to the world, the Lord is come at Christmas. We don't sing happiness to the world, the Lord is come. It's joy that is the distinctively Christian experience for our daily life. The other thing I want to mention is a distinction between joy as that experience in Christian life and the verb to rejoice, because Paul uses that as well. He says, I rejoice, I will rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always again, I say rejoice. So understand, that we as Christians are called not only to experience the fruit of the Spirit and joy, but to take the action of rejoicing in the Lord always. Whether things are good or things are bad, we make that decision and choice to rejoice. And Paul actually uses this verb at the beginning of verse 18. He says, and in this I rejoice. There's the active verb. Paul says, I am rejoicing in the midst of this. Our question is, what is it that he's rejoicing in the midst of? And that's going to become the subject matter, matter for our next devotional study. I rejoice, says Paul. Let's find out what he is rejoicing in and see how it can apply to our lives as we learn how to rejoice in all of life's circumstances. Let's continue to read, to reflect, and to respond. That's Spotlight Philippians. We'll talk to you next time.